Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. That's the answer. This is the Appleton Oak. I'm Mason Quinn. Folks, today we are taking a look at Avatar The Last Airbender. This is season one, episode five, Spirited Away. I won't lie, Boomy was a bit of a letdown yeah. for me, but all other things aside, I've been enjoying this series. A lot of fun, slight retelling. I can't wait to see where this one goes. Yeah, as we saw, it was a mix of like seven different episodes in one, which, you know, is going to happen when you only have eight. Granted, they are 50 minutes, but you have to be able to tell some stuff, some things more than others. Uh, but you did get your cabbages again the last times. episode because they at least did their, their slide with Boomy. So I'm definitely ready, willing, and able to see where they go from here. Taking the animated story, putting it to live action, they were going to face their challenges. I'm giving them a free pass on Boomy. Didn't love it, but that has not um, lowered my spirits at all. So I'm ready for this one. All right, without further ado, let's go! <laughs> starting off hot. Oh, oh! I was not. That's right. Starting off hot. <laughs> Maybe more. Oh, look at the armor. Oh, yeah, right, that a boy. Oh, oh. Whoa. whoa! Nice, nice. Oh, he started off with a. Hot. There you go, Katara. Wow. wow, did she get it figured out? Yep, yep. It's funny the the woods kind of look just like northern Wisconsin or Canada with all the pines and the rocks. Hey, 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 hey. I was like, are they jumping off a a waterfall? Is it going to be like a uh, fugitive? Ever? Yeah, well, fugitive. I mean, how many movies have we yeah. seen that? Wasn't in Predator all? I did. Yeah. I didn't take her out. I don't That's care. <laughs> It's something I saw the Earthbenders do. How to try a waterbender version. Your bending has gotten really sharp. Ice discs. There you go. We're getting closer to the Fire Nation border. It, it was bound to happen. Aang? Eh? Oh, oh. Cut a path. Well, that's an intense yeah. start. Fire Nation. Why would they do this? Why did they do anything? Prove a point. See, Avatar's job to protect the natural world, and that's just as important as helping people and fighting firebenders. Grand Grand says, life is a cycle. Once that was a nut that he had, wasn't mm, yeah, it? Yeah, acorn. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> You lost? My name's Sokka. Rhymes with Aka <laughs> and Waka Waka. Foxy? <laughs> waka Waka. Or is he. Sokka! No, wait. Hey, see, she dropped this. We're not here to cause trouble. We... She was just scared. This isn't good. No. Something bad happened to you. The firebenders just wanted to clear a path as they moved through the mountains. And that's why they burned down the forest? A few days ago, we sent out an expedition to search for food. And they never came back. My son, Xiong. He was with them, this world. You're right. The people are beyond this world. I can get them back. Spirit world. I like how they did that camera right there. On, on Aang. How many places can there be for a giant sky bison hive? <laughs> One of the resupply merchants mentioned something about kids playing with ice blocks near Senlin Pass, but he was probably mistaken. So someone saw ice in a place where no ice should exist? Mm. Most people would call that unusual, wouldn't they? <laughs> Lieutenant G? <laughs> Unless they were an idiot. Oh, Zuko. <laughs> I'll send some men to investigate. No, I'll have to do it myself. He's not making friends with him very no. fast, is he? No, that guy does not seem to be a fan of Zuko. And Azula. Zhao didn't discover the Avatar. Zuko did. He's the one who displayed resilience and dedication. That's what I expect from a future heir. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
Not self-serving flattery and coy whispers. Whoa. Oh, is he good in this role or what? Wow, he went hard on Azula there, didn't he? Oh, she did not like. See, now that yeah. just fuels well, her fire. That, he's pitting them against smirked. one another. Oh, well, that's what he did really yep. do. The spirit world. There are places where the barrier between them is thin. So you think the forest is one of these thin places? I don't think it. I feel it. The avatar is the bridge between the natural world and the spirit world. So you're going to hop into the spirit world, grab the lost folks, and hop back? Something like that, yeah. <laughs> hmm. You sounded a lot more confident. <laughs> I need to get to the north so I could save the waterbenders. But I also need to help these people so they don't lose their homes and the ones they love. The way I lost mine. Side quests. Can't save everybody. <laughs> it's right there. Yeah. The Avatar has to do the impossible. I need to find where the spiritual energies are strongest. And where's that? I'll know it when I find it. You almost said something specific. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Now they're gone. Katara? Hey? Eh? It's bear henge. A carving. A shrine to the spirit of the forest. <sighs> so, what do we do? We watch over Aang. Once his spirit crosses over, his body will be vulnerable. We need to protect him. And how will we know that this works? I'm not sure. I'm getting hungry. Hey. <laughs> I'm trying to concentrate here. I really want one of those. Here we go. Oh. Tuck a little bit. Give me a Star Wars vibes. I think it worked. Oh, Katara? They're there too. Ah! What is happening? I don't know. Eng? I've separated my spirit from my body. Somehow I brought you guys with me. How is that possible? Well, that never happened on the show. Well, get us back. He's back now. I'm, uh, I'm sorry. Oh. Uh, We're in the spirit world. Don't mention the avatar. We can't let word get out. Agreed. And we should tread lightly. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still Earthbender country. We don't want to cause trouble. We never ever caused trouble. Uh, really, Zuko? Short when memory. Indeed. <laughs> when indeed. I was hoping for a record scratch. <laughs> I heard some waterbenders might have been around these parts not long ago. Did you see them? No. But you remember hearing them. Sort of. It's like an episode of Law and Order. The bartender's always cleaning the cup. Mm -hmm. And they know something. This will help. Did you see the waterbenders? Right. No. <laughs> <laughs> but I heard the Avatar yeah. might be traveling with some waterbenders. Oh. So? The Avatar. He's with some waterbenders. Is that right, Mookie? But the Avatar. That's what those pirates said. No, it wasn't the pirates. It was that canyon guy. He said Avatar bought us canyon crawlers. We can't. The canyon crawlers. <laughs> Love that episode. It seems they've heard about the Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> the King of <laughs> It's not a secret. No. I love that. Let's try not to mention Avatar. Oh, yeah. The Avatar was here. Word has gotten to this backwards hole that means everyone knows. Everyone in. Backwards hole. <laughs> <laughs> There's blood in the water now. Uh, uh, help me. She's crazy. Oh, we oh, guys, we gotta get oh, her. This is what I think it is. Oh, oh yeah. Remember, no Look sight. Look at this yep. thing. Ah! 
Don't die, you idiot. Um. I only get half if you die. What are you looking at? <laughs> the old West music. Low life bounty hunter. Big talk for a little boy. <laughs> 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 Stop. Let it pass because your dad's kind of cute. Your dad's. <laughs> uh, that's right. They do kind of flirt a little bit, I thought, in the show. Canaries run wild here. She thinks I'm cute. Uh, I... It's like I will be seeing her again. You know, I've always felt I was a spiritually attuned person. That might be why I crossed over with you. Oh, is that a frog or a froggy thing? I have no idea how he got it. <laughs> They're probably looking for something familiar, assuming they realize they don't belong in here. None of you belong in here. Oh. No. Who said that? Who said what? No human belongs in this room. Ah! Oh. I am the spirit of knowledge itself. Shouldn't you be getting back to the library? Yeah. I was going to say, didn't we just see him in the library? That's all. That's where he was. That's where he was protecting. But hear what you hear. <laughs> <laughs> they, however, are interlopers. And the longer they stay, the more dangerous it will become for them. Dangerous? Dangerous? The birdie's not going to eat us, is it? That should be the least of his worries. Aang, <laughs> <laughs> what's he saying? He says he's not going to hurt us. <laughs> Paraphrase. Find our missing friends and we'll get out of here. There is one who lives in a stone hut not far beyond the woods. He may know what's become of your friends. Wait, wait. W what did you mean about danger? What could happen that long? There are things in here that will reveal truths to humans. Truths oh. they're never prepared to face. Ah. Farewell, Avatar. And remember, stay on the path. Bye-bye, Birdie. The lesson is over, Dwight. <laughs> Jeez. Um, that was intense. <laughs> Could have hurt him. That's his fault. <laughs> he should have been better. Except this wasn't about the trainer, was it? Mm -mm. Mind your business. Sibling rivalry. It's not gonna lose. Where have you been? Apologies. I got distracted watching a game of pie show. <laughs> 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 No! <laughs> At what she does, and that's finding people. Mm -hmm. Her loyalty is bought and sold. How can you trust someone like that? June is a professional. If she fails, she doesn't get paid, and she doesn't eat. <laughs> Use the best tracker around. Tell me about this avatar. <sighs> Um, turkey? Uh, Rackin? <laughs> oh. Oh, did you see that? See what? You... <laughs> Relax. The owl said we'd be fine as long as we stuck to the path. Right, Aang? Right. <laughs> Aang? What did the owl really say? Well... He said it could be dangerous for you guys in here. That you might have to face the truth. Truth? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I can deal with the truth. What I can't deal with is getting eaten by some giant spirit monster. What do we got? Oh, look at that thing. Hey, please tell me that's some spirit language only you can understand and it's saying, welcome friends, would you like some cake? That's not what it's saying. Oh, what? They really did good to the cartoon. As long as we stay on the path. We're on the path. We're on the path. We're on the path. We're on the path. Get off 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 the path.
Look out! Boy, they did a good job with the creatures on this show. Hey, Skunky, why'd you pick on someone your own side? I, I didn't mean me. Oh! oh. Gonna you know, run that thing? Whoa. No. Oh. <laughs> pain. So much pain. Actually, they're just scratches. Not you. Hey, bye. Hey, what? Hey, bye. That spirit. It's in a lot of pain. I must have landed harder than I thought. I'm a little discombobulated. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> I need to get to my friends before they get eaten by that monster. Not a monster. It's hurt. That's what pain does to you. It changes you into something that you're not. Well, these scratches are making me pretty irritable. Do you always make jokes when you don't want to talk about something? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you handle the truth? I hope you can recombobulate. Well, they didn't show us that piece of jewelry on its tail for no reason. Sokka? Meg? <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Is that a younger version of her? That's kind of what it looked like for a second there. <laughs> that was a cool transition. Yeah. Oh, you're back. Everything's fine. Uh-oh, gonna have to face a little mm -hmm. truth here. Mm -hmm. Katara. Oh. oh. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. This can't be. I thought it was going to be the classic <laughs> through. It's just been so long. Come on. We're late. Where's Sokka? He and your father should be back from their fishing expedition soon. Oh, this is the uh, invasion. I can't bend. You will. I know it. Someday. You are going to show the world just how powerful you are. You will protect all of us. Oh, it's a little too late. I turn. Find the water vendor. Oh, it's all about her. Katara, we have to get inside now. No, I'm not going in there. Ross. Where's the waterbender? We know you have one in the village. All the waterbenders are gone. Or dead because of you. You're lying. Turn the bender over. Or die. He's gonna think it's her. Oh no, he doesn't. Okay. Again, I we watched the series, folks, just one time. We did the cartoon, so some of the details aren't a hundred percent. Wait! It's me. I'm the waterbender. Oh. That's what really happened yep. to the mom. They didn't do this in the cartoon, did they answer? Or the they answers? just they just pretty oh. much they they didn't really get too close to what happened. Yeah. They just showed that they invaded oh. and took out her mom. They didn't really show Right it. in front of Katara. So much fear. So much despair. Oh. What the fuck is that? Spirit world. Quicksand. More like mud world. It smells like op after a rainstorm. <laughs> it's the fire swamp. Dad? The spirits of water bear witness to this mark. For the strength and leadership displayed during his ice dodging trials, I grant this mark of the wise to Sokka. This is the day of my ice dodging trials. 
This is the day you passed your ice dodging trial. <laughs> <laughs> you did make it exciting, though. Bato! You were cutting it a little close around those icebergs, weren't you? If you hadn't have been on the boat and stepped in... Uh, we all came through in one piece. That's all that matters, mm -hmm. right, Hokoda? Oh. Selecting the right crew is part of being a wise leader. It's why we do the trials with help from our friends. Hey, why don't you go find your sister and we can all celebrate? Hey, Sokka, if this is how you pass a test, I'd hate to see what you do to a boat when you fail. <laughs> <sighs> That's his truth. Yep. We're lucky to be alive. It was a tricky run. Even I only saw the breakers at the last second. You don't have to make excuses for him. I'd hoped when he really had to prove himself that he'd do better. Oh, no, this is brutal. The truth is, not everyone is meant to have people's lives in their hands. Give in to your despair. Oh, same face again. Was that supposed to be the... When they went into the stealer? The face stealer? Yeah, is that... Yeah, you're not supposed to look at him in the face? Yeah, is that... Or you're not supposed to show any expression. Yeah, yeah. So that remember it, it was, but like remember that was more of like a snake yeah, worm. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it had so. all the faces of the of the creatures it took. Yeah. yeah. It isn't real. It isn't real. There he is. Yep. Okay, this is uh... What are we here? Oh. That can't be possible. It's my old friend, the Avatar. Do I know you? I should say so. One of your previous incarnations tried to slay me. Why would I try to kill you? Oh, it was something about stealing the face of someone you loved. Yep. All I want is to find my friends. Now, why would I let you play with my food? <laughs> Ooh. Ultra creepy. Mm hmm. We still have that callback to the to the ape like screaming in his face, but he didn't react to it. That's what he was looking for. Hello? Oh, God, so. Hey. Piazzo? I knew you would need me. I do need you. I'm supposed to be the avatar and everyone is counting on me. Except I don't know what I'm doing. But now you're here. Hey, I can't tell you how to be the avatar. Of course you can. No. Avatar Kiyoshi told me that I need to get to the north to prevent a great tragedy from happening. Except... I don't know anything. You know a lot more than you think. I doubt that. He's got to believe in himself. My friends, they're somewhere in the fog. Ah, that is the fog of lost souls. A place that imprisons people in their darkest memories. And it is the hunting ground for Ko. The face, mm -hmm. I knew I recognized the face. <laughs> he must have the villagers too. The ones we came to rescue. Ko? will have taken them to his lair. His food. Their souls will be lost forever. <laughs> I need to talk to Roku. I've contacted Avatar Kiyoshi at her shrine. I can do the same with Roku. Except Roku's temple is in the Fire Nation. It'll be a dangerous journey. I don't have a choice. I'm just gonna get... I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> it's a long way to go. You couldn't have stopped the Fire Nation. You couldn't have prevented the war. You would have just died along with everyone else. It's not your fault. So, let go. That's powerful advice. Yeah. And it's not your fault. Let it go, brother. Will we talk about it when I get back? And it's so different from Sokka and Katara's. Yeah. Time is a funny thing. The past, the future, it all gets mixed up. There's only one way to keep it straight. It's by remembering what really matters. I hope you can help me, Avatar Roku. I'm just gonna leave him there? I know you're in pain. I saw your spirit. I'm gonna make this right. And I'm gonna save my friends. I promise.
Well, that was good oh. timing, huh? <laughs> wow. <laughs> you can't come this time. You do, Momo. Aw, Momo's ears. Keep them safe for me, okay? I mean, how can you not watch a show and want a sky bison? I... Sometimes it feels like we'll always be alone. This company is our own pain. <laughs> Seems to be a common theme here. We tell ourselves we are the problem. Especially when things we can't control come our way. Oh. That's why. We must let go of our pain and regret and remember what it is. Oh, I think I know what's coming up now. <laughs> the ones we love. Not the beach party episode. <laughs> That's not for a while. <laughs> it's you through the most treacherous of times and the darkest of nights. Oh. I I gotta be honest, I don't know what's coming next, and I don't want any spoilers. Answer, I, well, I think I know what's coming next. <laughs> well, again, and that's, and I don't know if you, if you folks out there might have seen it on some of the previous uh, reactions that we did to this series. Oak and I, we watched the original cartoon just the one time here on the channel, and it was a while ago, and then we had Katara right after. Uh, so, for me... I don't remember every single detail uh, with with the uh, you know with Ang and company. I remember some of the major points, but a lot of the finer details I just don't remember. So, I guess that can be you can look at it two ways. It can be it's a new story for me that I don't know exactly what happened, but I know the characters that I love. So it's almost like getting. Well, I, I guess it is either way. It's additional content for everybody. But for me, it feels a little bit different only because I don't exactly remember every detail of the original story. So, you know, I'm still surprised when they get into different things. Like with the face stealer, I mm -hmm. was surprised with that. I didn't know that that was coming. Uh, and they did a fantastic job with the cgi on the face stealer as they've done a tremendous job i think anyway with all the different creatures in here the the uh, i guess we'll call it i don't want to call it the monster of the spirit world but the the big spirit world kind of guardian i guess the cgi in that one was really good and mm -hmm. from it kind of jogging some memories of what he looked like in the cartoon and it seemed to be pretty close june's uh animal that she rode that was done really well you know with the uh with the way they did the nostrils and everything and i can't wait to see more from her character but again not remembering every detail of the cartoon for me anyways is is kind of a lot of fun to go through this series i really enjoyed this episode i liked how they did the twists and turns on their different fears uh that both Sokka and katara had again i don't really remember what happened to them when they when they were in this situation in the cartoon but it was real it really brought some more character to them because i know a lot of you out there were you know kind of clamoring for a little bit more of an arc with with katara and and Sokka, and i thought this gave us a little bit more especially with Sokka. i mean he felt like uh you know the coach's kid we just kind of pushed him through and gave him yeah, the starting yeah. role uh when he didn't really deserve it and <laughs> you know that's what he feels like he he has that uh, that level of regret and obviously Katara has the guilt of her mother sacrificing herself so Katara could be safe. Uh, so again, uh, a really good episode. I This one really brought it back for me from the last one. And I'm back and fully invested and just I'm really I'm truly enjoying it. This one's a lot of fun. I, I know it has some detractors out there, but I enjoy it. Nyla, that's the name of June's. Uh, sure, shoe, <laughs> but it's Nyla. Of I, course. I knew it was once I saw the name and they would click. Uh, yeah, what was interesting with this is, yeah, they they, to they took our friend the owl out of the library that that's where he was protecting. And, like, remember, he was, like he said, he's of all knowledge. Well, he's a spirit of all knowledge. Well, that's where he was. He was in the library. And remember, that was in the middle of the desert down below. Appa got stolen. And that, yeah, that's when Appa got oh, stolen. And, uh, 
And the one guy that had the map for it, I mean, he that's where he wanted to be, so he was happy to go down with it. So once again, you know, this was obviously a mixture of episodes and the whole bringing them into the spirit world. And now with this, with the harsh truths that, like, Sokka had to do, see, this was interesting because, remember, in the cartoon, his father left, he was still young. He, he was, yet Sokka was like in the single digits with his age because the dad said we have we got to go on our thing right now but you're in charge and because he had his back all his bag all packed and everything he's like no no you can't come with us to you but dad i want to come along so that was the thing so that was interesting going with here but what but it did introduce us to bato where there was a whole episode with bato you know helping out Saka throughout his things and then guitar it showed us more about what could or couldn't have happened the night that her mom got uh got you know delight yeah i got burned that, that and, was crazy I'm yeah sure and that. like from uh just real quick in the cartoon i don't really remember them really showing that just remember them talking about that and kind of just showing when they attacked but didn't show anything more because well obviously it was a y7 cartoon but uh but it was kind of neat how they did the spirit world i mean we got to see ko the face stealer which he was really fun one because i just the my fa one of my favorite scenes from that episode with the face stealer was when ang figures out he's like yeah that's right and it looks right at him he's like let's go and he just he just goes right back to not giving any emotion because that's what that's what it it preys on for stealing faces but i did love the callback i don't know if it made the cut cut but the callback to the ape screaming because that was one of the ways it tried to get the jump scare so that way you could try and take ang's face and then also showing that the pre a previous avatar's lover's face was stolen by the face sealer so that was really interesting but they did expand it more in this role and making it even even uh i would say scarier yeah. than what they did in the cartoon so that was that was pretty good, and I'm still waiting for you know Zuko to have his upward trend in this in this season because he does have it. But I'm sure we'll I'm get to some of it. But probably. in the next one, I mean, we have three more to go, mm -hmm. uh, six, seven, and eight. But I, so far, this has been really fun, and like the fact that he's leaving him there and he's going into Fire Nation. Oh, this is gonna be fun because I'm I'm assuming. Well, maybe we'll get to it when we get to that episode because I'm assuming where it's going to go and I'm not going to yeah. answer it. I think are on the gonna, I'm not going to throw it into there, no but idea. we'll see where that where that lands us. But, yeah, and, and I liked uh, the, the three-tailed fox spirit mm -hmm. being real nice to uh, Sokka and telling him to stay out of the fog and all this other stuff. And But, yeah, they're harsh truths, so I was wondering where they had to go with them because obviously with Katara we know about Sokka. I mean – he wasn't a true warrior when his dad left, but he was left somewhat in charge and, you know, had taken on that role. So it was interesting that it went like, you know, he's, uh, I don't know about this kid right here. So. I was I was waiting when Aang was hugging uh, Gyatsu that he was going to turn into the face stealer and Aang was going to be hugging the face stealer. That's I, I, was I was thinking he was going to disappear, <laughs> you know, because Gyatsu just had a way small, like he had just flashbacks in the previous. And so like this is an interesting way of doing it that he's in the spirit world. But as we saw in Korra, that's where Uncle Iroh is. Right? Yep. Starting to lose me a little here, guys. <laughs> Starting to lose me. Um, didn't love Boomy in episode four, um, but you know, as in the beginning of this episode, I said this. The, the to me, the library scene that was powerful. They were out in the desert. They yeah. lost Appa, and I and I was like, wait a minute. I don't yeah, remember the owl, owl being here? here. I remember him being in the library. I think in the very first um, after the very first episode, um, you know, we look through um, IMDb, Rotten Tomatoes, Wikipedia, and we just pull up some facts for each episode. We were very careful to avoid spoilers. Um, but I did see, I believe, Answer had pulled it up. Uh, well, I know you pulled it up, but I, I think you, you had seen it as well, where they said the original creator of Avatar bailed on this Netflix yeah. series due to creative differences. And I'm starting to starting to feel like uh, if the whole like <laughs> studio saying this, this, and this. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Answer, how many episodes was the first book of? 20. Avatar? 20 episodes. And they were 22 minutes long, mm -hmm. right? We have eight episodes here, right? Yep. Ranging from 40 to 50. <laughs> Theoretically speaking, what you could have done is you could have taken, and I know it would have probably cost a lot of money. Could you not have taken line for line, shot for shot, 20 episodes from the first book, and taken the animated series and just made it into live action and leave it alone? 
Theoretically <laughs> speaking, time constraints, we go from eight episodes. Yep, you could. Okay, and even if we, you know, even, so you have 22 minutes, 10 episodes, let's say, instead of these episodes being, you know, let's say just for, say 44 minutes for easy math, let's say you bump it up, you know, and, and, you, and you just drag it out a little bit longer, and instead of 10, you have eight, but still, could they not have taken the story that people originally loved and left it alone <laughs> and moved it to just 10 episodes, each each episode being two from the original. And people loved the original, right? They loved it. We loved it. And I came into the original so like, oh, we're watching a kid's cartoon. I should have known better after Potter, but it was animated. Absolutely loved it. Answer was like, oh, you guys are going to yeah, love it. And I was like, it. Eh. I, was right. I loved it. And I wa we did, look, we did M. Night Shyamalan. It was brutal. Um, came into this first couple episodes. I'm like, okay, this is a lot of fun. I'm loving the effects. And look, I still love the effects. Uh, I love the way they did um, the creature. Um, I, I love the way they're showing the bending and everything like that. So visually, I think it's cool. But it seems like they're taking some pretty strong liberties now with the story. And if we're just talking time constraints, looks, I'm not a director, I'm not a producer, I'm not the one writing the checks. Mm -hmm. So I can't say as to why they're doing it the way they did, but it's not like they had to take, look, we talked about Rings of Power, right? That's you what have I was just how many thinking of. You have how many yeah. Tolkien books over yeah. thousands of years? And unless they're planning on doing 20 seasons, yeah, maybe they had to compress it a little bit. I just don't oh, understand. Money? I don't, right? <laughs> I just don't understand with the first season being 20 episodes, 22 minutes each, why you couldn't have just doubled down and have every episode here at 10 been essentially line for line. Look, they, they're spending the money. There's no doubt about it. Yep. They're spending the money. And we had talked about um, pretty extensively when we watched the animated series about, wow, this would be hard to put into live action just because of... You know some of the complications they've done a very good job at making things that i thought would have been complicated you know to real life so i'm really dumbfounded why they're veering this way and that way and that way and this way with the stories and putting um characters in places that they weren't you know i mean it's like because you're like wait a minute like I can't like it. We we went through it once, right? And we are by no means yeah. hardcore fans. So I'm wondering what everybody who was like the hardcore fans like. Were they like, oh, cool, we get to see the owl in the spirit world, or were they like, I was I was like, wait, what? You know? And I'm yeah. wondering. Yeah. Drop a comment below. I, I, mean, I think they're. You, I think you're the hardcore fan. Well, how I think do you what feel about I think it? what they're trying to do is they want to get these big cameos or these big right. reveals in the first season when the owl doesn't appear until the second season because Toph is the one that's holding up the library, right? You know, yeah. and and try and couldn't save Appa. So like, I get that, and the and the face stealer, I can't remember if that was season one or season two and just like well one, and then also it? azula wasn't introduced until season two as well either yeah so i think they're just trying to get that in and we didn't even see the fire lord's face until like season two or three either so i, I think they're they're just trying to they're trying to get that stuff out there just for for you to see them you know? i can't believe oak just ruined this whole series for me because now i'm looking at it as as a Lord of the Rings fan, mm. if I would go and would have watched Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings, and look, I know he took some liberties and tweaked a few things, but if the story would have been sure what direction you were going with there, but if the story would have been completely different and time frames would have been all messed up and characters would have been in different places to such an extent that it's a wholly different story, I'd be pissed. Well, we're this is getting like and I, now and now I'm seeing it through those eyes well, but, that you well, mentioned. And we've that. seen mixed reviews. We've seen a lot of mixed reviews. Because at first I was liking it, and now I'm like, oh, and now no. I go now I go back to like you know I've brought up before my brothers in Star Wars. I liked all the latest Star Wars. I didn't know the original stories or how anything was supposed to go. I just sat in and watched and found it to be enjoyable. My brothers furious. Don't want to get into it. But now I'm wondering. Had I not watched the original Avatar and just came in watching this before watching the card, the animated series, I probably would have thought this is great. But now things are coming up. I'm like, that wasn't part of the yep, original I'm, story. I, see I your didn't point. recall, and, and I'm kind of looking to answer because he's, you know, he's kind of the expert here. And I'm like, God, I don't, 
I don't remember them showing um, Katara's mom being like, "It's me." I just remember them showing like yeah. it happening. Yep. And as you, as and you I look, didn't remember from a season three, episode two. So yeah, they, I didn't remember been, her being like, "Start over. bending a bucket of yeah, water." All of a sudden, think, get torched. I don't think that was there. And I'm like, eh. and I, and here's here's the thing I'm going to finish with. I understand if it had been a long drawn out, and it was one piece where you have a thousand episodes. And look, I understand. And look. One Piece got great ratings from just about everybody. Yeah. And I think people are more understanding when you have a thousand episodes and like, look, guys, we can't <laughs> we can't do this, yeah. right? But logistically speaking, four books, 20 episodes per book, 20 plus episodes, whatever, you combine two and one, you could essentially, for all intents and purposes, a, a one for one, line for line, shot for shot, and from a time standpoint, it could have worked. Um I'm good. Look, I'm I'm enjoying, uh, I'm enjoying the show. I don't want to sound like I'm not enjoying it. I'm just questioning certain things. And when we read mix, look, we we I think we watched the first couple. And we're like, this is fun. And then you see like the reviews. Obviously, we're not binging it like everybody right. on Episode Netflix. Of the time, uh, yeah. uh, everybody did on Netflix. And so while we've avoided spoilers, it's hard to avoid like the reviews. Of, oh, it got mixed reviews, and we were kind of like. Shit, the first episodes yeah. were like fun. How yeah. is it getting? How is it, how is it getting mixed reviews? And, I mean, and hey, it's gotten renewed for seasons and two and three. Renewed yeah. for seasons two and three. But here's the thing: this is. I'm glad you brought that up. How does introducing scenes and characters and thing that happened in book two and three now impact <laughs> the things that were supposed to happen? Oh, you took something that was supposed to happen in the future and you brought it here. Well, now. You know, well, they're, well, gonna, they're gonna. Grow I mean, up I, Katara's I, gonna show up. I mean, I, Korra. I mean, I, 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 I get it as far. Show I get it as far as that, but you know, while filming this, you're not for certain that a season two and three are coming. That's, so that's maybe one reason why they do it. That's a good point. But as you're making this, you have to know this is going to be a worldwide phenomenon. And it's going to be renewed for season two, right. and three. especially after the success of things like One Piece, but, et cetera. Yeah, okay, so. Let's touch on what you just said because answer the expert brings up another good point. Mm -hmm. If they like, hey, fingers crossed, we'll get a season two. Well, should we bring in a bunch of characters that didn't get introduced until book two or book three? Well, we should we should give the people the popular characters, so we get renewed. Well, what if what, what do you would you Man. did you think? Because I mean, Azula not... is is a really popular character, so I yeah. understand why you bring her in sooner. And then when you have a great actor like that for his, for uh, for Fire Lord, yeah. I get that. But yeah, that's I where just I'm, think where I'm is, that I think part. the original story is so strong. Oh, I don't. It was don't. so the original story for me was so good that you didn't. This story isn't about. Look, and we love the guy. We love Daniel. Daniel Day Kim. Um, love him. Uh, I think the young, the young woman playing Azula is doing great. Uh, Elizabeth, you. I, I love those characters. Okay, I love them. The story stands on its own without those people in it. Yeah. You didn't have to say, "Hey, yo." Yeah. The by first the way, season didn't. By have the to way, be we got Daniel Day Kim. Yeah. Like, okay, cool, but you didn't need him yeah. because if you went. Scene for scene, line for line, the story alone. Look, nobody knows who Sokka is. Nobody knows who Aang is. Nobody knows who um, Katara is. You went and got relatively unknown actors to play some of the most iconic, you know, characters in animated show history. I, 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 like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to enjoy these next few episodes, but I'm getting a little perturbed well. um, by their liberties. And look, when the original writer, the original show says i'm out because of creative differences yeah. what kind of what sort of creative differences could the original writer have yeah. do you think he wanted to rewrite the show right it's like when you say yeah. creative but, differences well, it's you, just like, like i said you you change it up because you because if you want the cartoon watch the cartoon you can't always just say, I go, hey, you but see i that. i get that but i go back to the lord of the rings reference or even uh, i mean even the harry potter which i guess they kind of did because did of the harry little. potter books yeah. they had to compress a little bit obviously massive books and lord of the rings is the same three four hour movies but i think when they deviate so far and, and I get it now. I, I see what a lot of the folks are seeing who are upset. I'm enjoying it because I don't remember the series that much, and I can enjoy this for what it is, but I totally understand 
your your some of your anger now, yeah. but I, and their gripes. Even when you even it. even when you talk about a book, you're taking a written medium, okay, and putting it on TV. Which how, how long should it be? Right, what should we keep in? What and yep. and they had. You literally had an animated series. You had with the times. You had line for <laughs> yeah. line, shot for shot. That yeah. if you did for the first season, look, forty-five minute oh, episodes, yeah. ten episodes. I think that's the shooting time and everything. You literally, quite literally, have line for line, shot for shot. I understand there's some complications as far as things we saw animated, yep. making them live action. But I, they're, well, this shit's pretty a lot, awesome a lot of things that I know you'd like to go the line for line for everything, but you also have to realize these actors and actresses are under the age of 18. They're under different laws. They only have a certain amount of time, yeah. but they can be on that's camera. That's the thing, to, to be able to do... They're only allowed eight hours, hey, I believe, hey, look, right? Hey, so hey. so that's 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 a complication that we have to go on. Yeah. That's why we see... Artists, that's why That's why you see the... That's why I think you see those quests like that, yeah. which is another thing that had hampers it, because we watched the cartoon. Aang is almost in the entire episode, while you can get away with that with a kid just doing you his voice You know what they over. did in the 80s. Yeah. You just got a thirty-year-old to play a fourteen-year-old, well, yeah, exactly. or, or you get twins. You gotta, you gotta have twins. You gotta get twins. That was everybody Mary knows. Kate and Ashley Olsen. That's knows. all they got around it. Jurassic on Full House. Park. They both yep. the, both the kids were sets of twins. Yep. Or just get a thirty-year-old like Daniel Larusso, Ralph Macchio playing a fifteen-year-old, <laughs> and you're good. Uh, there way, we go. Look, I know I'm I'm nitpicking here a little bit. I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. Picking of nits. Yep. I am going to continue to enjoy it, but I am starting to. Um, understand yeah. more I see the complaints and, yeah. and the, the, the multiple sides yeah. that we have as far as the reception yeah. for this animated series. I do too, but I'm still loving it as well, so yeah. we got a few more episodes to go. Maybe I'll write the ship for Oak. So for Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm of course the answer. We'll catch you on the next one, pals.